Have you ever thought what kind of gaming PC you can build for free? Well, today that's exactly what we will be doing, and we're gonna play games on it. So why don't we begin and see what kind of components we have gathered. So here's basically what we're gonna be building the PC with. The motherboard is H61. It actually had about 24 bent pins, two of which are completely broken off. I don't know how it's still working, but it is. I had to like fix the pins, but I couldn't fix the broken pins. The CPU that we have here, it's a Pentium G2030. It's a dual core Pentium. And then here's our um, backplate for the cooler, which is basically, it's like glued on it. I don't know what's wrong. I couldn't take it off, but well, here's the cooler that we're supposed to attach to it. Everything's working fine. The cooler's working, so we're all good. This cooler is more than enough for such a CPU. Then we have our GPU, it's a GT210, and then we have this RAM, one is 4GB, the other is 2, in total we're gonna have like 6GB. Then we have the SATA cable, obviously, and then we have the SATA SSD that I got for free from a relative initially. Then I put it in a PC for a customer, it ended up having some errors, so I swapped it for them, then, we, <laughs> then it's still ours, so basically I have this SATA SSD here, I do also have a 320 gig hard drive that we're not gonna need because what games are we gonna play on a dual core CPU today? And then we have this power supply. As we see, it only has, if the camera would focus, there we go, 120 watts on the 12 volt rail, which is not that much, honestly, but considering we have a GT210 and a Pentium 2030, I mean, it's gonna be more than enough because the computer will be drawing somewhere around 80-ish watts and then obviously we have this case it's an old case nothing special I cleaned it a bit this is basically the build this is what we're gonna be using to build our free PC we have not paid anything at all for any of these components so let's see how it turns out and here is the building process Let's begin our benchmarks with CMC Generals. It's an old game that got added to Steam recently, so I decided to buy the whole bundle cause it's one of my favorite RTS games. I did test this game on 720p low settings, but I honestly should have tested it at 1080p with higher settings because the game is locked at 30fps. Considering that the game was released in 2003, it runs smoothly without any issues whatsoever, and I bet it would've run great even at 1080p high settings. Also, here's a small bonus for you guys. If you cannot set your desired resolution through the settings of the game, go to your documents, find the game, and inside of its folder open the options folder with notepad and edit the resolution manually, but make sure the game is closed while you're doing it. Our next game is Minecraft. I'm running the game through T-Launcher, so I don't know how much less or how much more FPS you can have on other launchers. I've watched a lot of Minecraft videos and I heard that you can get more FPS through mods and whatnot, but anyhow, we're running this game at 720p low settings. Now we're not getting a consistent 60fps, but the game is honestly quite playable and there are no noticeable stutters to be seen. Considering that we didn't pay anything for our PC, I would be satisfied with this kind of performance in a game like Minecraft. They are billions. Now, I did try both the campaign and the survival mode, but even though we had a consistent 30 plus FPS, 
The stutters were still there and they were quite noticeable. The game itself is not too punishing, you can pause and it's more about the overall strategy here rather than small details where the stutters might be an issue. Overall, my experience with this game was better than average, it was playable, but if my sole purpose was to play this game daily, I'd really be wanting to get a bit better hardware. Terraria, a game that I spent more than a thousand hours in. It's one of my favorite 2D games and I'm happy to say that this computer runs the game without any issues whatsoever, as long as you lower the graphics a bit. I started at 720p, it ran really smooth, so then I decided to increase the resolution to 1080p and it still ran extremely smooth at a consistent 60fps. I honestly could have used a bit better graphics, but that's something you can do on your free time because this was already more than enough for me and I really enjoyed playing the game even at these settings. Let's move on to a bit more demanding game, Tomb Raider. Now I really wanted to have around 30 FPS, but it was just not meant to be. The game did run smooth, but those were smooth 10 to 15 FPS. It was sadly not playable. The FPS was too low no matter what I did, and the delay was too big. Our free computer could not handle a game such as this. And of course we also tested the computer in League of Legends. Here I chose 720p low preset, and it ran amazing. We got around 30 to 60 FPS depending on what was happening. It was a starter free experience and I honestly enjoyed playing the game on these settings. Overall, I had a great time. Whenever I test old hardware, this game always leaves me impressed because of how easy it is to run. If I wanted to play League of Legends all day and this was all I had, I would be over the moon just because of how much I'd be able to do on such a PC for basically no cost whatsoever. When I started this project, initially I was really unsuccessful because it's really difficult to find computer hardware for free, especially where I live. The current economic situation in my country is questionable to say the least. In areas where you have a lot of wealthy people and next to no poor ones, you'll have much easier time with acquiring free stuff, whereas in my area everybody's basically camping the free stuff that rich people sometimes give away. In order for me to acquire what I did for this project, I had to do a lot of favors. Now I do enjoy helping, I really love fixing people's computers and making them happy, but not everybody is willing to check away their old hardware even if they don't need it. Sometimes the life is just too rough and people need all the money they can get for what they've got, even if that hardware is from 2006. With that said, let's wrap up this video. Overall, I would say that this project was quite successful. It did take me a lot of effort to make this happen, but I'm glad I did because the satisfaction that I get from taking on these projects and finishing them is worth a lot more to me than just some other video that I have to make for my viewers. I don't do this because it's my job or anything, I just love doing it that much and I can honestly do it forever, or at least that's the goal. I wanna thank everyone for watching. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this computer that we built today? Have you ever built something like this? And do you love working on computers as much as I do? Thank you again so much for watching and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.